everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can add more custom notification sounds to your Samsung Galaxy device. So as you go through your notification sounds, you might see that there's really not too many options and you'd like to have maybe your own sound you would like to use, but you don't know how to add it into this list. Now, when you set up a ringtone, you can grab it from anywhere, even if it's saved on your phone. So I don't know why they limited it to only ringtone and not notification sounds. Now, what I do personally is I do have Zedge downloaded, but I do not use Zedge to set the notification sound. The reason why is that if Samsung user interface or the Android version updated and Zedge is not ready for it and they did not update their app yet, then you're gonna have a lot of issues with whatever application you set a tone to. So that is why I always do the option of download and then I go through the manual option. So we're gonna go inside of Zedge. We're gonna go to notification sounds and you know, NFL Chime is one that I have saved on my phone. I also have Pew Pew Pew. Uh, let's look at this one right here. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so let's say that you want this one here. Instead of setting it right there with that button, go to the top and hit on download. Now I did not purchase Zedge, this is the free version. So now that you have it saved in your phone, you have to add it to that list. So how you do that is you just go inside of your Samsung folder, go inside of my files, and we're gonna go inside of internal storage. Now, sometimes it could be underneath download, depending on what application you use, but because we did use Zedge, it's gonna be inside of internal storage. You go down to where it says Zedge, tap on notification sound, and let's move over pew, 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 and oh no. So let's go with these two. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna leave it in this folder. You can hit move if you wanna move it, but I'm just gonna leave it. They're very small files and it doesn't matter. So once you have it copied, go back into internal storage and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says notifications. Now, any thought, like any sound that you put inside of this folder underneath notifications will pop up on that screen. So we put in oh no and pew, pew, pew. So now let's go back up in your sounds. You got your notification sounds. So check this out. Now you have your oh no and you have your pew 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 underneath custom. Now my phone right now is on vibrate mode. So I'm just going to bring this up, turn my ringtone back on. And then now when you tap these, oh no. <laughs> you can now hear it. Uh, and then now it's going to be selected. And that is now your new custom notification sound. Now, if you wanna go just one step further, you can go inside of your contacts and set custom sounds per each person. You can do that even through text messaging, so that's really cool. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, so, so famous, number one desirable Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll I got tons of soul